I couldn't help myself, but look how cute this is. Mischief managed. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Nest With Me. Uh, I am 27 weeks this week. We have 13 weeks until baby girl is here. Holy cow, it is going by so fast. I'm telling you, it's gonna pass by super quickly. So the point of this series was to motivate not only myself, but also you guys to not wait until 36 weeks to tackle the growing list of home projects that we have when we're bringing a new one into this world, into our homes. Um, I know that I really have a lot to accomplish on my list in the next 13 weeks and I've slowly been chipping away at it. So I hope that you guys are too and I hope this series can motivate you. In this week's episode, I'm going to be tackling my home closet. I know that I had mentioned this in the previous episode and I have recently since posted a DIY video on my channel. Um, I'll link it up here if you're interested, but I did finish the closet makeover in our current home office, which will be this room when I'm done with it. My closet needs some serious attention. I need to pack away summer clothes, only have out fall and winter clothes. I need to get rid of clothes that probably aren't gonna fit me, that I'm not gonna wear anymore. And I really just need storage solutions for my home closet. So hopefully that can inspire you. And then a little bit later on in this episode, um, the home office is just about done. So we're gonna be bringing our computers and our computer desks and just really getting this home office to a usable space that we can both enjoy. Uh, so I hope that you find this video inspiring, motivating. I hope that you're at home tackling your projects before you bring your little one into this world. Let's finish up this home office this week. That is the goal. Once I finish up, then the room for the nursery will pretty much be clear. And I am sure you guys are just as excited as I am. I know my friends and family are. I'm ready to get to it. I'm ready to finish it up. is really coming along. We're getting super close to being able to move our stuff in here. Um, before I tackle the closet organization, I do want to take care of the floors. So we have carpet in all of our bedrooms, which I absolutely hate. If it was up to me, I would have laminate or hardwood floors throughout the entire house and just accent with rugs. I feel like it's a lot easier to keep cleaner that way. But uh, when we bought the house, they did have new carpet installed before we moved in. So I mean, the carpet's in really good condition still. It just hasn't been cleaned since we moved in. I mean, obviously I vacuum, but um, there are a few stains that have accumulated from having roommates in this room. And I highly suggest that if you're bringing a little one into your home, that you give your carpets a good clean before they come into your home. Now, I was going to buy a pre-mixed solution from the store, but those can get kind of expensive. And for some reason, the store that I went to actually didn't have any pre-mixed solution. So I'm just going to make my own at home and it's a really easy recipe. Most of these things you probably have on hand. So come along with me as I vacuum and shampoo these carpets before we start are actually organizing the closet. I'm gonna go ahead and make the solution. So I have a pitcher here that we had bought for water but we actually don't use it. Um, this is about a gallon. So I'm gonna do a gallon of hot water and I'm gonna do, I'm probably actually gonna end up doing two gallons so I'll make this batch twice. But just to show you as far as making one gallon at a time, uh, I'm gonna do a gallon of hot water. I have some OxyClean here. So I'm gonna do a scoop of OxyClean. I have some downy fabric softener and I'm only gonna do about two tablespoons of this. So you can kind of just eyeball, really don't need too much. I did buy some spot um, and stain remover. Now make sure that you kind of read the ingredients or you're familiar with spot cleaners and then they always suggest of course that you test on your carpet before you use. So I technically could go in and spray the stains with this but I'm just going to open it up and uh, use a little bit of it in my solution. So probably about a fourth of a cup. I 
don't like being on my own I could use someone to hold And I've been trying to fill the void But my bed is getting cold Cause I don't have you I don't have us At least not anymore You said you had to go away Just to figure out who you are And I'm in this empty house Well, I'd say it's getting the dirt out. That was absolutely filthy. This is why I was saying it is so important to make sure that you clean your carpets if you're bringing like a little one into your home. Of course, they're not gonna be, you know, walking or crawling around for quite a while, but just for the purpose of cleanliness, I think it's important. So I used three gallons of hot water and the cleaning solution that I showed you guys how to make and I had to dump out the container of dirty water two times and both times the water looked like that. I do want to shampoo these carpets one more time to try to get the water to be a little bit more clear and then I feel like I will have a, um, I will feel better about how clean these carpets are, but I probably need to wait one to two weeks, let the carpet fully dry out and I have other things that I'm trying to do right now. So for now that's going to have to suffice. Um, but yeah, clean your carpets. I'm gonna continue cleaning mine and I'm sure you guys will see more carpet cleaning in the episodes to come in this series. So let's go ahead and tackle the closet. This stuff right here is baby and maternity stuff, so I'm actually gonna move it to this corner right behind the camera, um, just so I can get it out of the way. And then I'm gonna go through this toe of maternity clothes and clothes that I've just been washing. There are a lot of them are summer clothes. Pull them all out, <laughs> pack my summer clothes into this tote, so then a lot of this will be taken care of. Then I can move all of this stuff back into the closet. Look how cute these are. They're so cute. Love, try to forget about you makes me restless. Waiting for love. Waiting for love. I don't know what else I can do. It's hopeless to be holding on to you. Oh my goodness, look at this. I couldn't help myself, but look how cute this is. A mischief managed. It's got little lightning bolts on it. I had to buy it for her. So cute. It says, I'm a keeper. She sure is. Look how cute that is. I love it. Just so in love with it. I had to. No, I'm just waiting for love, for love. Waiting for love. Try to forget about you makes me restless. What do you guys think? Do I have enough summer clothes? That's one whole tote full of summer clothes. It's kind of crazy, but it's gonna save me a lot of room and look at all these hangers. I definitely wasn't able to accomplish everything that I wanted to accomplish this week and that is completely okay. Make sure you guys are practicing grace with yourselves because it is difficult. Um, shampooing the carpets and tackling as much as I did in my closet really took it out of me. I ended up taking a nap today. I just could not shake how tired I was. I also had an OB appointment and I had to get a tennis shot and I had blood work done. So I was just so freaking tired. Um, and also I have been editing this video and it's getting close to 10 minutes long and it's like how much closet organization can you guys really take? That goes for myself too. Uh, like I said, this week we'll have a little bit more closet organization. In the next 
episode, but I promise not to bore you guys too much. And then we'll finish up the home office as I wasn't able to get our computer desks and stuff into the home office. So we'll really tackle that this week. And then I did get some samples for the nursery today. That is one thing I did while I was out. Um, I went to a local paint store, which I didn't realize we had a local paint store that carried Benjamin Moore. And so I was able to get three samples of Benjamin Moore. So stay tuned for the next episode. And I will do a couple samples on this wall right here, which is gonna be the accent wall. I'm super excited to get those up. I really hope this video gave you guys a little bit of motivation. I feel like I got a lot done, but also didn't. Um, and this is why I have been saying that we need to start these projects early uh, and not wait until 36 weeks because they really just pile up um, and they take a lot longer. They take a quite a bit longer than we normally plan for. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another DIY video this week and then I'll see you guys in another nesting video next week. Goodbye.